Hi folks, so uh, doing a quick vlog, uh, we haven't got a lot of time, uh, we've not been able to see much of Cambridge this trip, uh, sorry about that, um, but uh, definitely going to make uh, an effort to come back at some point, uh, so because we've been outside of uh, Cambridge itself, uh, we've been sort of like uh, about a mile or so I think outside of it, so we haven't seen the town centre much, uh, but uh, like I said, uh, we're heading to the train station now uh, and anyway, I thought I'd just give you a quick quick view um, and like I said, we will come back to Cambridge uh, I have never ever been to Cambridge in my life uh, and uh, look at this, it looks absolutely awesome actually look at this, the canal thing over there this is so cool, whoops, I nearly fell off the pavement um, <laughs> so, but you see you've got the, oh look, the punting, look there's the punts going along. Oh wow, this is awesome. This is so cool. I don't know what that building is over there, but it looks really, really cool. And look at this high street. See, I love high streets like this. Uh, sort of oldie worldy, you know, oldie timey sort of high streets. Look at that church there, that's gorgeous. Wow. This is so cool. So yep, yeah, we'll definitely come back, I'll definitely make a point of having a little trip here, having a little day out, uh, find out how much it is. Um, just out of curiosity, uh, do you know how much the ticket was? For the, um, the, well, the train we got today, yeah. it was um, <coughs> £9 each way. Oh, really? Yeah. Well that's not bad. Oh, that's, oh, that's doable. Oh wow, oh I'm definitely coming back. I am definitely making a day of this, definitely, it'll definitely be worth a trip back. And funny enough, Joanne will probably like this as well, um, see if I can get her in the mood for travelling that is, because uh, at the moment she just really does not want to travel anywhere, sadly, because she usually loves these sort of places. Oh, I love the way that building leans out, that is so cool. Excellent. It's like I went to a, a place once, I forget where it is. Um, it might have even been Oxford actually, I can't quite remember. But there's this shop and it's like one of these old places like that. And it's so sort of what's you know, wonky that the shop door is slanted. It's really cool, it's like there's doors like that on the slant. It's really funny. Yeah, so okay guys. Uh, so look at that, look at that, that's, I love that, that old timber building, how cool is that, eh? that is awesome, uh, so, park and ride, so, oh look, big cathedral thing there, not sure what that is, <laughs> look at that, what is that, oops, Oh, it's Cambridge what? Oh, the Cambridge story. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we need to... Is that a fort? Uh, that's a good question. It could be. Uh, I think we'd better ask, haven't we? Uh, yeah, we need to find out where the station is, guys, because... Um... Oh, there's a map here. Claire, there's a map here. We're trying to find our no, no, no. way back to the station, you see. Uh, so, where are we? Oh, we are here. Is that where the state? Flipping neck is a bit walk, isn't it? So we need to go straight down. So, but I guess that's that, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Yeah. So we need um, Sydney Street. Yep. St Andrews Street. Regent Street. Right. So Sydney I think. And, and yeah. Cool. I love that as well. Look at that. Not sure what that is. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Sorry. Traffic <laughs> warnings. 
it is kind of similar to Oxford a little bit in some ways I guess because they're both university towns as well I suppose so, so what famous people came from here then I wonder <laughs> Yeah, so, okay folks, like I say, this is a bit of a whirlwind tour for the time being. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll vlog as long as I can for now, uh, and uh, try and catch as much, oh look, side street, whoa, cool. <laughs> I love those little side streets as well. I was just thinking if you want you can if you would like to say hello to the viewers just say hi yes hi. <laughs> this is Claire by the way so uh, yeah oh, oh no that's not very interesting just some back goods entrance <laughs> uh, Yeah, oh it definitely merits a, a visit at some point, definitely. <laughs> well, I reckon if we'd gone right, where yeah. that map was, oh, right. that probably would have taken us past um, the churches. Oh, churches, right. Yeah, no, that's fine, because, I mean, this is just, this is more than enough, to be quite honest. This is absolutely awesome. Hello! Hello mate! How are you? I'm alright. Would you like to buy a Pikachu today? Uh, I haven't got any money at the moment. Sorry, brother. I accept cards. That's contactless. Uh, I haven't got a card with me. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that is brilliant though. I like that. That's on the way back. Yes. Yes. Thanks very much. Have Cheers, mate. Day, Same to yourself, mate. Cheers. <laughs> I've got no change. You don't need change. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got a bank card with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Oh, you see, I love those little side streets. They are so gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the same. It's the same as Ox Oxford's twenty quid. This is this is cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, quite possibly actually. Yeah. No. Uh, it's funny as well. Uh, you see, the thing is. I'm not being funny, but and it's nothing against the man himself, but I, out of principle, I won't buy the big issue. Oh really? Yeah, no, What's I won't, that? because I think it's lost its way. This is just my personal point of view. I'm not saying I'm right necessarily, uh, but I think it's lost its way from its original point. Uh, you know, was to be about the issues around homelessness. Have you ever looked at one lately? It's all adverts and it's all articles about things that are not relevant to homelessness. Oh really? Yeah. It's gone much more commercial, it's much more about trying to sell the thing. I get it, I understand the reasons, yeah. you know, because obviously it's a magazine, they're competing with lots of other what's names, they're trying to sell the thing. Uh, you know, the public are probably like, yeah, we've heard about the homeless issue a thousand times, blah, 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 you know what I mean? Sort of thing. Uh, they might not necessarily be interested in reading homeless stories again, mm. kind of thing. So, I get it, I understand the reasons why, but... I just don't, I think they've lost the ethos of what, what it was all about originally. You know, it's about... Uh, Sorry? People who were selling it are still, you know, the people who were saying to help them. Again, yeah. You know, the content yeah. might not be... Um, no, no. And it's wall-to-wall -wall adverts all over it, you know what I mean? Every page you turn over, there's an advert there. And again, I totally understand, but... You know, it's just, I'm sorry, but just out of principle, I won't... Uh, I mean, I might give the person a pound or something or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, even so. But uh, I won't take the magazine. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I think the homeless problem is that increasing here, actually. I know yeah. it's in Cambridge. Uh, Oxford, sorry. Yes, I noticed it when I was there. Uh, I was surprised, to be quite honest, I must admit. I mean, I guess you get images of... Because I've never been to these places before, and because you hear them through the media, you always see the sunny side of them, don't you? You never, yeah. do you know what yeah. I mean? So you imagine that they're very affluent, very, you know, especially with like certain people coming from these sort of towns and what have you, and you, you just don't imagine that they would have an issue around that sort of thing. But, yeah. yep, it's there. I saw quite a few of them. Oh, one and a half miles, look. Oh, right, okay. Ooh, shit. Ooh. 
<laughs> Didn't know whether to cross or not then. It was like, yeah. uh, I can stop filming shortly. Uh, oh, in fact, I'm going to. Right, oh. Yeah, the train Did is. Uh, yeah, I think so. That is definitely doable. You see, I, I, it'd be so much easier for me. Like, say, for instance, that that uh, steeple in the distance there. Yeah. If I knew how much further from beyond that, I, I can gauge distance better that way, rather than. You know, if you say like a mile, or, in fact, let's just have a quick look on the map and see how much further we've got. Although maps don't always necessarily help either, necessarily, but... Ooh, right, we're there. Where's the station gone? It was there on the other map. Where's it gone? It's probably maybe it's just gone it's a bit further off the map. Hang on. What? What is that? Is that where we are? So, we're here, and we must be going that way now. Oh! Of course, I've got you. Yep. All right. Okay, Yep. Boys Lane is that one there? Mhm. Mm uh, so we're going. Yeah. Right. Ah, that must be the fork, the right-hand fork she talked about. Ah. Really. So we want. Oh no, so Andrews and Regent Hill. Yeah. Andrews Regent Hill. Right. <laughs> I was worried for a minute then, I'm thinking the map's changed. We're not an alternative universe. Yet. It was though, wasn't it? It was upside yeah. down. Yeah, because it was at the bottom right hand corner on the yeah. on the one we looked at. <laughs> funny experience. Yeah. Do you mind me filming this? Or? No, no, that's fine then. A friend and I were walk, uh, were driving down to um, the New Forest yeah. and we pulled in at um, a service station yep. and when we came back on the motorway uh -huh. there was... make sure I've got you in shot. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise it's just the top of your head how, and we're just aiming the top of your head. Look? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we get your best side. <laughs> um, so yeah, we pulled in at the service station and then when yeah. we came out yeah. There was no traffic behind us and no traffic in front of us. Right. At all. Wow. For quite a while. Yeah. I was like, what on earth is happening? You know, we're on a yeah. M25. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, and I think we worked out that there must have been an accident oh, behind. Yeah. That stopped all the traffic sort of coming. Yeah. Um, wow. But that was quite weird. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, yeah come out of the petrol station in an alternative universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I think this is the longest vlog I've ever done, actually, thinking about it. I've never done a continuous vlog before. No? no usually I just do little, like, about two, three minutes, maybe four minutes, and then sometimes I'll put them together as one video. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes I'll do longer, depending on where I am and what I'm filming. Uh, I think the longest I've ever done is about 10 minutes, uh, continuous, uh, but, uh, but the only other ones that get longer are the ones when I do in my house, when I'm just talking to the camera in front of me in my house. Yeah. Uh, I'll put it on the tripod and then, you know, I might be waffling on about something or other, <laughs> but I get, of course, you know what I'm like, I can't shut up, where's the remote for Paul, can't shut him up, uh, and so I'll be waffling and then them ones turn into about half an hour. Right. They do. They're just like flipping egg. Who wants to listen to Paul Ashton waffling on for half an hour on a <laughs> flipping video? <laughs> Although they still get views, well, I must admit. What, if you enjoy doing it, that's amazing. Yeah, I do. Absolutely love it. I'd say it's a good outlet for me as well because, see, at the moment I'm not doing much painting, and of course I'm an artist, and Is that it? was my first and foremost love. Uh, and at the moment I'm just, it's not really happening for one reason or another. So this is my creative outlet, yeah. essentially. Oh, I like that, that's nice. Do you know churches with the tops like that, with no steeple? They're called Norman churches, or Norman-esque. They're either built in the Norman era, you know, when the Norman Conquest happened, there was no steeples, didn't have steeples. They just had this, like, castle effect. So if you see churches with a castle effect like that, it's either Norman or it's Norman-esque, built in Norman style. 
something else I'm going to do today. <laughs> yeah.